I Seminars was incorporated in uh, some 12 years ago. Uh, the name actually stands for International Accounting Seminars Limited, and that's what we do. We teach international accounting standards, IFRS, IPSUS, and US GAAP, to name but three, um, all over the world to a very uh, international group of participants. We run our seminars on four or five continents and in two or three different languages, English, French and Spanish. The company is very well established, it's well thought of in the marketplace, it's considered a premium provider and that's evidenced by the quality of our partnership relationships with professional firms and professional institutes of which there are quite a number who've chosen to partner with our seminars. We use a small uh, and perfectly formed team of uh, people to run several hundred events a year. Um, the seminar business is, is principally back office in that there are all courses to be designed, organized, scheduled, delivered. There are hotels to be booked and printing to be organized and menus to be decided and audiovisual equipment to be arranged. All of that uh, back office operation is handled by our seminars. But of course the most important thing is the quality of the information that the delegate receives in the classroom. And for that we have a group of some in excess of 30 subject matter experts located around the world teaching um, their specialist subjects. We have bank specialists and oil and gas specialists and IFRS generalists and Ipsos generalists, uh, people who know uh, all there is to know about financial instruments and derivatives and hedging and many other technical and complex topics. On public courses, they go away with a clear understanding of the principle. They've been through it in terms of not just understanding what the rules are, but also what's the objective of the standard setting body or the rule makers? What are they trying to achieve? And they come away with some kind of view as to what are the specific issues that are causing them problems or are likely to cause them problems. We're a UK owned and managed business but very international indeed. Um, London is our most popular venue but our London courses have a very significant number of international delegates um, from all corners of the world. Uh, but we do actually run our courses in North America, in Europe, in Asia and in Africa. IA Seminars want to build a relationship with each of our clients, our customers and to do that we want to build partnerships with them that will last more than one course. So we work with them from the initial point of contact to establish exactly what they want to do, what their training needs are and then look to the best course or the best IA Seminars product for them. So they may need to go to a public course, sign up and travel to a, a foreign destination and train there. They may have a group of colleagues who want training and we may provide them with in-house training or e-learning might be the right solution for them. We do a lot of work in-house on in-house training so it's tailored to the client's own requirements. That means that before the programme's been mounted we've got a fairly clear idea of what are the issues that they're involved with. So that would focus there very much on specific aspects of topics that they were having difficulty with or interested in learning more about. We can organise an in-house programme anywhere in the world for any client. We tend to do that when somebody needs training for five or more of their colleagues and we can provide a bespoke training or we can take one of our off-the-shelf programmes and deliver that as it stands. What we try to do is have as much customer and instructor involvement throughout the planning process. We find that the more involved the customer is in the lead up to the training, the more successful it is and the more the attendees get out of the training. We also tend to find that they uncover additional needs at that point in time so that they will uh, continue to derive the benefits of the training for some time afterwards. The average I seminars participant in a live training course is generally a senior financial manager from a larger organization. The average person would have responsibility for implementing or applying accounting standards within their organization, uh, very often therefore a preparer of financial statements for a larger organization. Um, a small number of our participants would be um, not directly involved in preparation but perhaps uh, indirectly involved, for example auditors who audit that information or analysts who analyze that information or managers who oversee that operation. But by far the majority of our delegates are in fact preparers of financial statements.